I am Alicia Mostelo and I work in the Fisheries and Agriculture Department in the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and uh, we have organized, co-organized a course on tools for monitoring and surveillance in fisheries control systems together with the Agronomic International Institute for the Mediterranean here in Zaragoza. And we have organized this course because we believe monitoring, control and surveillance is very important in the fisheries management process. And why is this? Well, uh, for a, in order to achieve sustainable fisheries for the long-term conservation of the resources, for the use of, for present and future generations, we need to establish a sound management system based on scientific advice. And in order to be able to understand whether the rules set in this management system are followed or not by the sector, we need to uh, implement a monitoring, control and surveillance uh, system. And this is why it is so important to understand that uh, the efficiency of the whole uh, set of rules is also laying on the efficiency of this control system. So, uh, in order to, to adapt uh, to the changing times, traditional MCS or monitoring, control and surveillance methods have been evolving from the traditional ones, which include uh, inspectors and patrolling in, at sea or at land, air surveillance, and uh, other methods like uh, vessel monitoring systems, the famous VMS, and others, we have uh, expanded to other technologies and methodologies in order to cover other uh, fleet segments that were not so well uh, followed before. For example, now for small-scale fisheries, there are other technologies such as um, uh, applications developed for cell phones, for smartphones, which help uh, locate the activities of this uh, segment of the fleet, uh, also, drones are being used lately, as well for the industrial part of the fleet, uh, there are other techniques such as uh, optical and synthetic aperture radar images from the satellites that are combined with the vessel monitoring systems, with the location of the fish, of the vessels, and uh, produce uh, an indication of uh, possible illegal activities. There are other techniques as well, such as uh, electronic uh, reporting, or uh, remote electronic monitoring with video cameras on board. So there are new techniques and technologies appearing and uh, more and more we are basing our efforts in the uh, coordination and the participatory approach, meaning pulling efforts together from different uh, agencies in a country and different uh, neighboring countries together at an international level. So uh, in this respect, what is the role of FAO? FAO uh, has several roles. Uh, one of them is to provide guidance, uh, technical guidance to the member states through developing best practice guidelines and other types of documents that help the member states to implement their national and regional systems. Also, we provide capacity development for these member states that are in need and requested to file. And also, the FAO uh, is, uh, has a role in developing international instruments and tools to uh, monitor the fleets and fight against the illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, which is uh, very detrimental and uh, is uh, rising nowadays. And uh, for example, FAO in this regard has developed an international plan of action to prevent, deter and eliminate illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, which is called the international, sorry, the IPOA, in IPOA IOU, it's called in, in terms of acronym, and underneath which this, this international plan of action indicates the responsibilities of all states in fighting illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing. The responsibilities of the flag state, the port state, the coastal state and the market state. And underneath this international plan of action there are several instruments. Some are binding and others are voluntary, such as the port state measures agreement, which in, intends to stop illegal uh, products from coming into the international markets, the voluntary guidelines for flag state performance, which is a tool to assess the performance of flag states in controlling their vessels and their operations, the global record of fishing vessels, refrigerated transport vessels and supply vessels, which is an international uh, global tool, a global information system to share information, uh, which will allow us to enhance uh, traceability and transparency to fight IOU fishing and support other international uh, instruments such as the Post State Measures Agreement. And finally, FAO is also now uh, recently leading a process on developing international guidelines 
to uh, produce um, catch documentation schemes at global level. So these are the main areas in which uh, FAO is working at international level and supporting the member states at regional and national level.